week's rain is not warranting any evacuations in the Montecito area, but mud flows are still on the minds of many near recent burn areas. KSBY News reporter Megan Abundance is live in the Santa Maria Valley with what officials are telling people who live near those burn scars. Megan? Karina, last summer, the Alamo fire left a large burn scar about 30,000 acres east of Santa Maria. While Montecito had deadly mudslides, the Alamo area, certain canyons, Tepesque Canyon also had significant mud flows. Property owners in the area say they know the threat looms. It's always constant. However, they are prepared and are self-sufficient. Most of the mud flows that we had were, they were significant enough to destroy the low-lying land. Pretty much everybody in the canyon was ready for them. We had seen the weather reports. We knew that we had dealt with the Alamo fire. We had all expected there to be mud flows. And so everybody had gone into town the day before and gotten an extra gallon of milk and had just prepared to stay the night, stay the week, not be able to make it to work on Monday. The neighbors in the Tepesque Canyon showed us some of the damage from January storm. Hit those pipes and just wiped everything out. All of the fires that burned in the last two years have created the potential for mud flows. That includes the Sherpa, Alamo, Ray, Whittier, and Thomas fire burn scars. All of those fires have potentials for debris flows. The steeper country that burned hottest has the worst potential for them. We're concerned, but we have a plan. We all know that there are going to be mudslides or there's going to be other natural disasters, and we all expect to be able to help ourselves and if that's not possible we'll call our neighbors first. There are risks for the reservoir, Twitchell Reservoir of course, and the roads and anybody who lives down along those canyons and the, the river bottoms needs to be very careful. They stress that more mud flows can happen in any burn scar. Unfortunately it's going to take a lot of patience because uh, if it didn't happen last time it doesn't mean it won't happen next time. In the meantime, it's important that these burn scar areas receive light rain so vegetation can grow back to secure the hillside. That's really the only long term solution for burn area recovery. Live and local in Santa Maria Valley, Megan Abundis, KSBY News. All right, Megan, thank you. And county officials are urging all residents to register to receive emergency alerts through the countywide aware and prepare system. A link to that is on our website, ksby.com links.